For New Year's this year, I decided to sew some dresses for my dolls, and I filmed me sewing them, so I figured I would show it to you guys, and accidentally I forgot to film Eva's dress, so I'm just going to show you how I made Nolly and Sarah's dresses. I decided that I wanted to make a sort of off-the-shoulder trendy dress for Nolly, so I started by taking a piece of fabric that looked like it would be the right size for a bodice, and I cut armholes in it. It was supposed to have a sort of strapless look. It took me a couple tries to get it just right, and once I did that, I decided to work on the off-the-shoulder part, which was really just a strip of fabric. In order to make it look all nice and put together, I folded the strip of fabric over and I sewed it so that it would have nice clean lines. All of this sewing is kind of just impromptu. I don't really use patterns. Um, I always just cut pieces of fabric that are a little bit too big and then measure them sort of around the doll's body and cut them if necessary. Now you can see I've sewed the piece. It's a lot thinner and it actually fits Nolly really well. I sewed the ends of fabric together in order to make a loop and I pushed it down over her shoulders to give the effect of an off the shoulder top. It's awesome because it didn't require any complicated sewing on my part. Now it is time to work on the skirt. So I got a big piece of fabric, I made sure to measure it around the doll and make it longer than it felt like it needed to be. So I cut the piece of fabric, I folded over the edges and sewed them so that I'd have nice clean lines. On the upper edge of the fabric, I decided to make that the top of the skirt, so I put my sewing machine on a setting with really big stitches and made sure to leave a little bit of extra thread on the end of the seam, and then I pulled that thread tight in order to create a cinching effect across the top of the waist. That's the reason that we made the fabric too long in the beginning, because I knew that once we cinched it up, it would be the perfect size for the doll's waist. But to make things easier, I decided to keep this as a shirt and skirt set rather than a dress. That way, all I had to do was fold over the top and sew it so it made a nice clean seam and then attach it as a skirt. I did one last seam to hold the skirt together in the back and I was done. And ta-da! You have a fancy New Year's Eve dress. It took very little effort and maybe 20 minutes to make. Now it's time for Sarah's dress. I'm gonna lay her down on the fabric and try to measure a piece that will be the right size for the bodice of the dress. I'm sort of making this all up as I go, but I think I wanna make a V-neck style dress with no sleeves. In order to make my design nice and even on both sides, I fold the fabric over and start cutting from there. Here you can see I'm cutting out first the V-neck, and now I'm cutting out the part where her arms are going to go. This is the part that's gonna go underneath her arms and over to her back. Here you can see I'm cutting out what I think a bodice design would probably look like on an American Girl doll. I'm doing a lot of guesswork here. Once I've cut the bodice piece to my satisfaction, I've decided to move on to the skirt. And here I'm going to do the same thing as last time. I'm just going to sew the hem along the bottom side and then along the top side. I'm going to do a really, really wide stitch and then pull the edges of the thread in to cinch the skirt. My end result looks something like this. I'm going to test it and make sure it fits nicely around Sarah's waist before I tie off the thread ends. And it looks like it fits. Now I have to sew the bodice and the skirt together. First I pin them so they won't budge while I'm doing the sewing. Then I sew along the pins and attach the bodice and the skirt together in one big seam. And then all I have to do is put it on Sarah. And ta-da! There you have it! Sarah's New Year's Eve dress. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of random, but I just thought you guys might want to see how I make doll clothes sometimes. It's all just a kind of crazy impromptu process, and it turned out pretty well this time. Thanks for watching!